Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Factorio the No Crafting Challenge. So, um, previous episode messed up a little bit actually. It was only 15 minutes long for the last two because I somehow got confused between 30 minutes and 40. So yeah, I think I'll give you a little bit extra in the in these episodes to, to make up for that screw up there. So um, we were working on oil and let's go straight back to that because we were sort of in the middle of it actually. Oh, what we need to do, I remember we need to go and grab some underground belts from over here so let's do that let's get quite a few I think we'll get 20 that'll keep us supplied for a good long while I imagine and we can go over here oh we're not much in the way of normal belts we'll need that as well okay back again gotta make sure to keep supplied so I don't have to keep running back and forth like so there we go 25 normal ones that should be good and we can connect up the refinery to these storage tanks here. So that is fine. And then we're going to do it like this. Um, we'll have it going along here. And where does it go along to? I suppose there. But what we need to take into account is having more refineries because that is a thing that will happen. Ooh, science. Um, what should we go for? At the moment, the research sort of isn't really... We're not sort of at the stage that the research is at, so we just sort of leave it to go and do its thing. Right, hang on. This is a 5x5, five five, isn't it? So let's use this as a marker. So that's at the edge of a refinery, and then there's a gap, and then that. That should work. So the output for light oil would be here. And let's stick the pipe in. And that's the one for heavy oil. Oh, actually... Ah, oh, no, no, I've messed this up a little bit. Hang on. Got to have them all out by one more there to make it all work so that the uh, the petroleum gas one can go across as well. Okay, so now we put this in, put this in, and this, and then we'll put the other ends of them when we work that out. So we'll do this like, th like that, and then this. Should be one of those there, that 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 it could be a very very long time before we actually have these um, refineries but it's a good idea to just sort of map out where they will be before you put them there um, to prevent later confusion so we'll connect that like that connect this like this and we'll do that that should be fine that doesn't get in the way of anything I don't think there we go so liquid fuel, not liquid, I keep calling it liquid fuel, I play KSP too much even though I haven't played it in absolutely ages. haven't played it pretty much since I stopped the series, I've done a couple of bits now and then, just for fun, with new updates and such. Right, there's a gap of one, two, three between these, so I can use that as a marker. One, two, three, and we can sort of go from there I guess. And if there's a problem, we can, we can fix it later. But there we go, we have some storage of each of the oil fractions, and that is awesome and really helpful. So we can get sulfuric acid, which is the thing that we want to get first. For that, we're going to need to make chemical plants, which are a little bit fiddly. Pipes, steel plates, iron gears, and circuits. I do believe, then, that we could swap the oil pump jack um, assembler for one of chemical plants so I think I'm gonna do that because I'm lazy and this is becoming a bit of a mess honestly and I've got I've come up with a plan by the way while that's going I'll, I'll run over here so the moment we have all this stuff over here and, and I'm making sure that every, all the production systems that we have here uh, well actually up here is dedicated to making random important materials but down here is all dedicated to science which is intentional because I want this to split after science and there's going to be all sorts of different factories going on um, and such like because that's a, a good way to do it and there's going to be an oil line somewhere that, but not not as in actual oil as in a line for producing oil based stuff um, so that's going to be a thing in future this has filled up hasn't it we need to invent steel chests so I, I guess it just uses steel it does so I think we're just gonna set it up here because that's easy enough I guess shotgun ammo well 
the, the upgraded shotgun ammo is supposed to be produced here, but that is in a very, very long time, so forget that. So you make steel chests, put them into this wooden chest, and in about a million years we'll have the steel for that. What's going on right now? Is the steel production going at full speed, or is something wrong with it? Um, now it's going at full speed, which means we could do with increasing its speed, maybe. Iron is still looking pretty good. Actually, this seems to be running down a bit, but that shouldn't be a problem because it comes with it to this splitter, so then it's just a case of whether this system or this side of the production can take up the, the strain of that, and it looks like they can, probably. I imagine so. So yeah, we'll, we'll, I just want one steel chest at the moment, so it's halfway there. Let's go and have a look at the chemical plant assembler as it now is. Yep, it's made some plenty. We only need one, so I'll just take the one for now. So as not to make mess and have them all over the place. So we'll just stick it on here. Temporary structure, I guess. If I really need, because we might not be able to... Oh, actually, no, well, we need to make plastic. Plastic's the thing we need. I don't think we need sulfuric acid yet. So yeah, plastic, that uses coal and petroleum gas. So coal, where is there coal? Right there. There's also a couple of little deposits around here. I think we'll make use of the stuff up here because it's useless where it is. Do we have mining drills on us? No, we don't. Let's go over and get some. There they are. Let's get three, I think. We'll get them from this bit. Actually, we can just get them from here anyway. We'll have three, and I think that will cover all of the coal. Oh, actually, we only need we only need two. We'll put one back then. There you go. I, mean, I could probably just carry these around. It wouldn't cause any problems because I couldn't accidentally craft them. But yeah, I've I've done this now. So, right. So these are going. This one's not powered. Now it is. And let's get these converging like so. And yeah, we'll just we'll send it straight down, then work it out when we get there. Down to here. At the moment, we only need one assembly, one uh, one chemical plant working on it, I think, and we'll sort out the fiddliness of having more than one later on. This is probably going to be temporary. Okay, we well, we do need another conveyor. There we go. Need a conveyor with an output onto a belt. We'll do it like this. We'll have this the whole splitter system going. In fact, we need to shift this up a bit. Is there a clear path? Looks pretty much like there is, so that's probably fine. We we'll get the assembler here, and then we can have the splitter system going on over here. Oh, we have stuff happening. What is the? We've got a bit of electronics done. Um. We'll do explosives, probably not going to use them, but we might as well make them, because why not? One day we will possibly need them. In fact, oh, we'll need them from ca for cannon shells when that eventually happens. Right, let's get some more conveyor belts. Another hundred of them, that should be good. Barely any of these pump jacks are going, of course, because the oil is not being used up very fast at all. Right, we've got that started off, so let's just stick the power supply. Oh, that's annoying, I, I can't cover it with one. Okay, then we'll do it like that. There we go, we've got plastic being produced. Awesome. And we'll keep going with this. Straight past the coal. We'll need an underground belt. Oh, that's fiddly, isn't it? Wait, what side does it go on? Yeah, it goes on that side. So we need an underground belt doing this, and then it has to loop round again. Not the most elegant of designs, but it'll do for now. And this can go all the way into the factory and eventually into uh, advanced circuit production when that is a thing that exists. Which we'll, we'll need to do if we want to get blue science, which we want to do fairly soon. We might make... I wonder if we'll manage to get it done this episode. I would... Hope so. Hmm, I'm noticing that this seems to be limited by the the inserter. Yep, okay, we should fix that because production of this stuff is quite important, so we'll just have it... Oh no, that's the wrong thing, I need to do this. There we go. We'll probably need that as well now. 
Sounds like we even need to have two assemblers, two inserters. There we go. We've got it going at full pelt, because this is an important system that we want to keep running at full speed. And there goes that science. We'll do this one. I just, I'm going to pick whatever's just first, because it doesn't really matter. Oh, we have steel chests now. Let's Let's get that. Four of them. Oh, we should put a limit on this. We only want to like a stack. Even that's a bit much. Right, we can do that, and that'll keep that going for a while longer. And let's carry on this line here, all the way down. And there we go. Except we probably don't want this going the whole way there at the moment because at some point it breaks off to become. Um, advanced circuits and that would probably be about here. I don't think there's anything else that I want to do before that. So yeah, what do we need for advanced circuits again? Plastic, circuits, copper. Easy enough. I suppose we'll set that up in a minute. But what I will do just before then is I think I will set up smart inserter production here. Well that's a, a good point actually. If we set this up here maybe we can get rid of it back in the factory factory. Why have I got two lights like this? I must not have been paying attention when I was putting the lights in before. Okay, let's do this. And this makes fast inserters. This makes smart inserters. And what the fast inserters need, they need plates and circuits. So we need both of these being extended. And then what does this need? This just needs circuits so we can just extend this line for that. Um, what ratios of stuff does this need? Two of each, so we'll get two of these long-armed ones. I don't know how fast this goes, but we want to make sure that we have enough capacity to run at full speed, and that will be a great help in that. And power to everything at once. Awesome. So we now have smart inserters being produced. Excellent. Let's get them being unloaded somewhere. Actually, I think I'll have blue science production right here, so we probably... We'll set that up before we look at where the smart inserters are going. In fact, they'll be crossing over, won't they? So I, I'll, I'll set it up now, because otherwise I will get the positioning wrong or something. Um, I don't know, hang on. Do it like that. Let it go past this. Um, uh, ooh, more science. It's going too fast. I can't keep up with it. Trains. I saw trains. I'm going for trains. Okay, so blue signs will be running along here, so we'll just have this little gap here for the other thing to travel along. I don't know what I'm doing, really. What setup am I trying to do here? Let's do it like that. Yeah, there we go. That makes a bit of sense. We'll have some underground belts. Oh, that's gonna, oh the pipes aren't going to be able to manoeuvre through this. Uh, stupid thing. Oh, we can compress this a bit, I think. Because I actually ca I came up with a working design, I think, before when I was setting this up, and then I got rid of it for this for the design that looked more neat and straight lined. Because I'm like that. There we go. So now there's the, this space is what the underground belts can go through. Underground pipes. Get those mixed up so much. All right, there we go. We have these being unloaded. So now we need to carry on with this. Yeah, there we go. We want four of them. We've run out of assemblers. That's no good. We need to keep a good supply of these at all times because they're sort of important. You need them to make stuff. I could do with running faster. Oh, power. Power is a bit fiddly. I see that. I see the yellow. What's the problem? Assemblers have just gone up, probably because of me putting in the smart inserter production. There's a lot more stuff going with that now. It's kickstarting a bunch of other systems going back through the line. Mining drills are working harder. Furnaces are probably working harder, but at the moment they're all still um, the coal-fired ones, so they don't come up on the on the system. So yeah, uh, let's grab some more uh, conveyors while we're here because we need them, and then we need more assemblers, which is what we came for. Let's get tons of them, because you always want tons of them. And should we fix the power now? We should probably fix it now. Get it done. Oh, oh! I forgot. I forgot. I haven't like done this. 
I haven't sorted this out in episodes. Many, many episodes. I've just been letting this die. Okay, we'll quickly tide it over while I go grab some from over here. I just completely forgotten that I needed to fuel these over here. I could probably get the coal going over to them, but once I have advanced circuit production set up, I don't want to be using um, these inferior furnaces anymore. I want to electrically powered ones because they are better. So the copper supply is a bit ruined, I imagine. Yep, just a smidge. Hopefully it'll recover. It's run down... Oh, wow, it's run down all the way to there. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I should have paid more attention. Actually, oh, it's running down super fast. We probably need to increase copper production looking at that. So let us do that thing which I have said. Oh, there goes trains. More trains. Better trains. So... Uh, these are running are these running down? I can't even tell. They're probably staying about even. We'll add in another mining drill. We don't have another mining drill. Okay, we'll we'll do another furnace first. Like so. Fuel it. And that. So there we go. We've increased the production a bit. Let's go grab a mining drill. Let's go grab two actually. We'll have five mining drills working on this. There we go. We could do with a few more electric poles, actually. Unless we, no, we haven't got any any in, in air uh, any in our inventory. We'll just keep running along the edge here, I think, because of reasons. I'm not sure what reasons. Um. Did it? And run these along here. So they connect up to it, and then we'll add in another mining drill to deal with the extra ore that comes through. And we are running out of space here. We're going to have to set up some new things soon to fix that. Stone is, as always, in plentiful supply. Let's grab some more coal just to keep supplied on that. So there we go. Nice big increase to copper production. That should hopefully deal with any problems that we might be having with the supply of copper at the moment. Let's have a look. It's it's oh it's continue it's running down quite rapidly. Hopefully that's now fixed by me adding in the extra production. We'll have to see. Uh, what's going on here? Oh iron, iron's messed up as well. Come on. Uh, now they're all running at full speed. Yeah, it looks like the the smart inserter production we added in um, did not go too well, and now we need more stuff of everything. Ah, I've shut down production of these furnaces. And I don't actually yet have the production of the next level of furnace. That was a bit of an oversight by me there. Hmm. Let's go get to work on that, I think. We'll we'll, we'll carry on with setting up the, uh, the blue science production because that will, by nature, give us the, uh, the what's-a-majigs, the advanced circuits that we need. Oh. Okay, we'll do that like that. And then on this side we'll want oops we'll want them to be like that. And then oh we don't have enough of these, but we have enough to do one each, which is enough for now. Um, and we need to tell them what to do. Make oop, make blue science blue blue blue. Right. So now oh batteries we need batteries. Ugh. Oop there goes rail stuff. More rail stuff. Always more. Right, batteries are going to be a pain. But we'll, we'll carry on with what we're doing so far. So, we've got the smart inserters right here. So we'll do something like that. And then we need steel. So we just siphon that off. And there that goes. Okay, that line is ready. Oop, not too far. And then the other line. Oh, everything's going to be in the way of it as well. Hmm. We'll, we'll have to work it out. So, let's set up advanced circuits. That's what we'll do now. So, once again, plastic circuits, copper. Right. Oh, there's a bit of a mess here that's sort of in the way. Circuits, plastic, copper. Right. We'll extend these lines a bit more so we know what we're, we need to manoeuvre around. 
which immediately uses up a ton of our belts. How much do it? No, that's this is our last 22 belts here, so we'll we'll use them sparingly, I think. So we'll siphon off. Oh, what's the system I use for this? I use. Do it like that. And this can be advanced circuits going down here. Oh no, we need to do it the other way around for, to, do, to make it work. Okay, we need to move this up one. No, we don't. We don't need to do that. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the hang of this eventually. So, let's tell it what to do. And we want circuits and plastic on a belt along here. Let's set that up. We're going to need more room. Okay, we'll move it up then. And we'll do it again. There we go. So, we'll get a splitter for plastic. It's plastic and circuits, isn't it? Maybe we can combine it right here. That might be a better way to set it up because there's more room here. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So, in fact, oh, we don't even need a splitter there, do we? Which is good because that gives us more room to maneuver. Excellent. There we go. That's a that's a good thing that's happened. So now we send this up this way. And unfortunately there's not quite enough room to maneuver it right. We'll have to use a couple of underground belts to sort this out. There we go. So we can send it up sidestep it. In fact, we didn't. We could have done that. Yeah, we'll do that here. And then we'll neaten things up by having this do that. There we go. Right, so we've got that supply, but this actually needs to be making copper wire. Where's copper wire? There's copper wire. And once again, I'm going to check advanced circuits because I just thought of something. It's an even amount for, of plastic and electronic circuits, which are on one belt, and then copper, which is on another belt. So... Shift this up one. Methinks. See, do we even need to? Yeah, we do. We do need to. Okay. So we'll we'll have a belt for copper wire right here. So we need to split off the copper and get it delivered to this belt. And then we'll have a belt coming down here, and this will have the advanced circuits. There we go, it's coming together now. I'm remembering how things work. And there's not... Is there enough room to do the splitty thing? Yeah, there is, actually. We can... Oh, we're out of underground belts. Well, that's no good. It's enough, though. Is it? No, it's not enough. Okay, let's go get more of those. I, I was about to say why are those off, but of course I haven't connected those up yet. Over we go.